welcome to my channel. I'm Patrick Novotny and you're probably here because it's the first time you'll be wearing a tuxedo or it's been a while and you're wondering what do I do with all the accessories and gear that comes with your tuxedo? Well, in this video, I'm going to be helping you out with that. Now, I do have how-to videos on self-tied bow ties, other crazy necktie knots that might be appropriate for the event but might not be right check with somebody first before you're wearing some kind of a, uh, a personality knot such as a eldridge knot or a trinity knot or something like that pocket squares i'm not going to be covering pocket squares i have a whole bunch of pocket squares pocket square how-to videos on my channel in this video i'm going to be t covering how to put on cufflinks uh your studs suspenders, how to adjust a vest, and how to adjust a pre-tied bow tie or a pre-tied necktie. All right, let's get to it right now. Okay, so starting off with your suspenders, you want to make sure that they're facing the right way. So the clips that you'll get, you'll have the finished side, the chrome uh, in your clip will be out front. So when it's attached to your pants, you'll have the shiny end pointing out. So just make sure that's on the right way, I'm sure. Like if anybody's wearing this, worn this before, you know, you put them on and they end up being backwards and then you end up taking it off, put it back on again. Okay, so some of these suspenders have either an X back or a Y back. So either way, when you put them on the back, I've got a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of traps. I've got a little bit of muscle, so uh, your suspenders should be going over top over top of your shoulders between the outside of your shoulder and your neck right in the middle so putting on your suspenders it should be halfway between your neck and your shoulder and then where they hang naturally usually right in front of your nipples uh, you'd be clipping them to your pants you shouldn't be wearing a belt ever and you should never go over the loop so we'll have a close look so you can see how that clasp actually attaches to your pants You'll feed your pant through those little gator teeth here and then close onto the clasp like so. So, once you got those attached, now I always find it easier to have a friend or someone else to attach the back side. But wherever they naturally hang down to is where you should be attaching them. So a little bit tricky, a little bit to get to used to. As long as they're not over top of the loop, something like that. So adjusting, adjusting your suspenders, you want to make sure that they're not uh, really tight. The, the job is just to hold up your pants and not give you uh, like a man toe or give you a wedgie at the back. So if your pants are a little bit loose because it's a rental, it's only supposed to hold them up. That's it. So don't make or make sure they're not pulling your pants, you know, farther up than they should. Okay, so a tuxedo shirt, you're gonna have holes. That's gonna be the, the side that ends up being on the top of your buttons. On uh, and this would be the underside. So taking your studs, they've got a bit of a a front and a back to them with a like where like a stopper on one side, and you would feed that through each one of the holes that's beside your button. So it's not that hard to put on uh, while you still have your shirt on, but it might be easier just to do it while it's off because you can see it that much easier, see what you're doing. So just like that, you can put them in there like that. So the top one is gonna be covered up by your bow tie and then one, two, three, four down. And then the last ones will be hidden Last one will be hidden uh, behind. So all you have to do now is feed the stud through the buttonhole each time. Now that your studs are on, you can move on to the cufflinks. You want to make sure the face of the cufflink is facing the outside of your shirt, so away from you so everybody can see it. So you could either put this on before you put your shirt on, or it's a little bit more tricky while you have your shirt on. So you just have to feed it through these holes that you have in your double cuffed French cuffed tuxedo shirt. So it's just a matter of feeding them through like so. I always kind of 
feed it through my thumbs. There's the next one. And then finally find your way through the hole. So it's just a little bit of practice and then turn the turn the bullet back on there so it's locked in place. Let's have a close look at that. Your French cuff shirt, your tuxedo shirt will come extended like this. You'll see, you'll notice the buttons that are here. You want to fold that cuff in half and then you want to feed your cuff link through there. So it's going to go through one hole and then the next hole easy peasy and then before you put your shirt on you just want to turn the bullet so it locks itself in place then you put your shirt or you put your arms through you put your shirt on and then you would proceed to put this stem through the other holes one two and then you would lock in place once you have that shirt on you'd have the cuff link on the outside when you're renting a tuxedo it'll come with either a pre-tied bow tie uh, necktie or a cravat they're all adjusted the same way so let's have a close look so you can see the mechanism and then how to adjust that so it fits so it doesn't matter if it's a pre-tied uh, bow tie necktie or the cravat they all have a hook and a little bit of a loop on there so all you have to do when you get it around your neck is put the hook in the loop all right so you want to let out your strap your little adjustable buckle here so you can go around your neck and once you've got it hooked around your neck, you can tighten this up, find the buckle. So you want to get that snug around your neck. You want your black strap to be even throughout. You don't want it to be higher up on one side and that. have a friend check you, of course. Now, this you're wearing a butterf butterfly collar on a tuxedo shirt and you want to make sure that's tucked in in behind your bow tie like so i would always encourage somebody to get a self-tied bow tie self-tied cravat or a uh, self-tied necktie uh, instead of using pre-tie of course once you've got all that on you can get your vest on and of course there's a an adjustable buckle at the back as well so this might take unless you have a friend helping you out with this buckle but it adjusts the same way as the pre-tied bow ties neckties and cravats so taking the loose end holding on to the buckle you can tighten it but the thing is it's going to be behind your back when you put it on hey so now you know what to do with all of those accessories that come with the tuxedo rental uh, of course there's more how-to videos on either tying your own uh, self-tied bow tie or different cravats, ascots, those kind of things, pocket squares, all on my channel. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.